Hello there and welcome to our quick run through of Citago. Uh, my name is Tom Belton and I'm a cloud accounting specialist here at PJCO Accountants. So Citago is a credit control app that gives you the chance to set up automated chasers for payments of your sales invoices. And just to give you a quick run through of this task board, this would just be a quick overview of your Citago account. So here we'll see the schedule, amount of scheduled chasers that are scheduled to be sent in the near future. Here we've got unmatched customers and incomplete customers. By unmatched customers, if I click onto that, so Targo just mean that that is then matching it to a company's house registered company. So like it says up here, matching customers allows you to view the credit risk of your accounts receivable and monitor their credit limits and see if customers are paying you slower than they're paying other suppliers. So it's a really helpful feature as a Targo and if you can match them up to a company's house registered company that would be a really good tool to use so then moving through to targo we've got the finance tab here this is going to be for invoice finance options so this will be here where you can see it says eligible invoices if i click onto that it will give you an option to start a registration process with Citago's own invoice finance section and this is something that if you would want to you can come into this tab and look further into Credit control is where the vast majority of work in Citago is done. So if I click into the outbox here, this is where we'll see uh, chasers that are scheduled to be sent to customers that owe money to you. So we've got open invoices here for all of these customers. And this is saying on the Tuesday, the 13th of October, we are going to send out chasers for all of these invoices. If you wanted to preview the chaser, this is what we'll see here. So you can click on to preview and this will be the email. We're seeing who it's being sent to and it gives you the option to send it now as well. You can choose not to chase this invoice if you'd like to. So you can say, yep, yeah, I know they're going to pay in the near future, so I won't send this chaser out. Or you can edit it from this page as well. This is a good little breakdown of what you've got scheduled in the near future. Um, and in this sent box, obviously, it's just like an email inbox and outbox you'll be able to see all of the emails that you and chases that you've sent through Citago. the templates tab is going to be very important for you so this is where you'll see the invoice reminders template so what we see here is we've got the field set up to automatically populate so you've got the customer name the invoice number and that's where Citago will link with quickbooks and pull in your customers names and invoice numbers as well as the dates and due dates just to make sure that it's all automated and nice and easy for you to use. So we'll see here we've got reminder one all the way through to number five. So what you can do here is kind of word the email slightly differently to say, obviously, it's now much later than it was when you sent out the first reminder and it's getting seriously overdue. So Targo also gives you the option to send out monthly statements to your customers. So again, you can come into here, you can write it and customize in here and then preview how it looks like it's going to look over here. Thank you emails will be for when you've received payment. And again, you can schedule these to say if they paid early or if they've paid, just paid after being paid late. The settings of your credit control will be here where you can look at what's enabled and what's disabled at the moment. So we've got sending schedule. It is worth looking at this because um, obviously not many people are going to appreciate reminder emails on Saturdays and Sundays. It might be best to schedule them for weekdays only. Email footer, you can put your email footer in here. And this is just uh, look, worth looking through to make sure that it all suits your business. So Risk Insights, Credit Search is a tool that you can search for a company on Companies House. And like with the matched customers section, it will show you their credit risk and any credit limits that may apply. So this is what the risks insights tab will be useful for. And if I come to accounts now, if I go to customers over here, this is where we'll see all of the customers that we bought through from QuickBooks and if they've got open invoices and what kind of reminders, statements or thank you emails we'd like to send to them. So I can come in here, I can click on, let's say later LTD. And I can see what they owe and in a breakdown of which invoices this is owed for, if we're sending reminders to them, 
and any conversations that have been had with them previously. I can also go to the outbox and sent to see if any chases have already been sent. If I come to accounts and receivables as well, this is where we'll be able to see a list of all receivables that we've got as pulled through from QuickBooks. Now I'll just go to the add final tab of admin, go to organization, and this is where we'll be, your, your settings will be. So you'll be able to come in here to edit any settings that you've got for your organization. And then you can go to user down on the bottom as well. And this will be your user details if you ever needed to change that. Thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, my email address is on the screen, tom at peterjarman.com. Thank you for watching.